plants. Got them three for $10 on sale at Lowe's Home Improvement. If you cannot tolerate bees, don't, don't plant these. But um, I got three of them for $10 and we are gonna plant them over there. I gotta get the grounds ready. I've been working on it. And uh, as soon as we get the grounds ready and the holes dug, we will be planting these. Okay, let's go do cleanup. <laughs> Now they will not come back unless they grow up from the root or come up from seed. Uh, but the actual stalks that are left behind will rot over time as you can see how easy that was for me to take it out. And uh, sometimes the castor bean get real tall and sometimes they don't grow very tall. Now this one here is coming up just now. Um, we planted back at the beginning of April. Yeah. And uh, they are not growing very big or very fast. We had trouble this year. Last year we had this full of castor bean. Now castor bean is one of those plants that is uh, very poisonous and so if you do not like having poisonous plants around you don't want castor bean. This is when the roots off of one the castor bean however most of them do not get long tap roots like this. put it down by the hole before I get down on the ground and that saves on my knees. You want to keep them moist the first year and then one time per week after that. It says cold hardiness is for zone 5. We're actually at zone 9 but uh, Cold hardiness of negative 10 to negative 20 degrees, but we planted this one here last year. It came back and it's grown from this size to that size in one year. It will grow to three foot by three foot in the summer. You space them about three foot apart the bees do love them, so... Um, so do if, the praying mantises. And praying mantises, yes, and I don't love praying mantises. I know they're good, but I don't love them. I like to not have gloves on and get down in the dirt because I love the feel of the soil. But um, I advise you to wear gloves, especially if you're pulling weeds and uh, messing around stuff that you might get hurt on. But um, we've got a Gara plant here that I'm fixing to plant in this hole where I dug out the castor bean stalks that had died. And I'm gonna put some good soil in here and then mix some of the old soil in there. And my soil already comes fertilized. So um, right at first I won't add no fertilizer but 
um, if you use soil that isn't fertilized, you'll need to put some kind of fertilizer. But I'm going to get started now. here with the potting soil and that way it's a more natural environment and I'm placing it away from the fence so as it grows it won't be right up against the fence I grab around the base of the plant and I tap the bottom squeeze the sides and try to slide it out. This one's a little bit dry. You loosen up the roots. Set it down. And then I will get some more soil. A lot of people say they don't like the miracle Grow soil, but I have used it and I get the moisture control one most of the time and I have not had a problem with miracle Grow. Uh, this, however, that I bought because they didn't have the miracle Grow that I wanted is Stay Green Flower and Vegetable Garden Soil. Now you want to be sure if you're planting in the ground that you use in-ground soil. If you're planting in a pot, you need potting soil uh, that is made for containers. Now, and you want to be sure you plant the plant to where the top of the plant is going to be level with your ground. You got any tips for the flies leaving you alone while oh, you're gardening? I wish I did. If I, anybody has any, leave it in the comments and let us know. How do you stop the flies from bugging you while you're gardening? Okay, get my hole centered where I want it. Make sure it's the right depth. Grasp around the top of the plant. Turn it upside down, tap it, shake it. Get it loosened up. Loosen your roots. Set it down in there. That's about right. So then I knock some of my soil around it to hold it in place. It's lined up with my other one pretty close.
Oh yeah. That time I add my potting soil. What are the different kinds of mulch? Well, they have all kinds of mulch. They have uh, wood chips that have been dyed colors. I find that that don't work so great. Then I found this natural uh, red cedar and I really like it. I think it's a good mulch. And uh, cedar is supposed to keep a lot of pests away, a lot of bugs, and that because they don't like the odor of the cedar. Now, I would assume that every year you need to put down some fresh, fresh. so that you have the odor. We're going to get the weeds out and stuff and then we're going to put the mulch because we've had such a weed problem but we're going to do a video and show you guys our weed problem. <laughs> Hopefully these will grow good and next year we can show you how beautiful they are.